going on YouTube I'm coming at you guys with another video so if you guys haven't guessed this is a Rihanna Wild Wild West inspired makeup look so I definitely didn't do it exactly how it was it was very difficult to even get a picture of um, how she looked in the video but I just let my imagination run wild based off of what I saw so this is an inspired look I saw her look I thought it was beautiful I was inspired I created this one so if you guys want to see how I did this this look then you guys just keep on watching this video okay so I already started off my eyes I did my eyebrows and I concealed my eye and then I'm just going to set it now with my Maybelline super stay better skin skin transforming powder in 30 warm nude I'm just going to set that concealer so that when I apply the eyeshadows, they blend very smoothly. Now using my Real Her Be Your Own Kind of Beauty eyeshadow palette and my Morphe M518 brush, I'm going to be going into the color Strong. Since I applied that cream color before, these are just sliding on just like butter. So smooth, it blends so well now. You definitely don't want to skip that step. And I'm going to add this black color into the crease to bring some dimension to the look. going back into that smart color and just continuing to build it up until I get the darkness that I'm searching for. I'm just basically creating a crease for myself that I, you know, I don't really have. And you want to be sure to blend. This part is really important because if you don't blend this out, this look is going to look like you have a black eye instead of a really pretty sultry, wild, wild thoughts eye. Now I'm just going to take my Sedona Lace EB13 and I'm just going to blend that out. This is like my favorite blending brush so I'm going to use that to blend that out. I'm going to go back in with that Smart Color and that same Pointed Mermaid brush and I'm just going to darken it out a little bit now that I have it blended and smoked the way that I want the look. Now that we have that good base, I'm going to move on to the next step. So I'm going to finish the darkness once I'm done with all the pretty blue colors. I'm going to go in with this brush that came with the Urban Decay 2 or 3 palette. I don't remember, but this is my favorite brush to clean up my brows. And I'm going to use it to also clean up the, to cut the crease. You know, I'm going to do that shape like what I have here. And I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Neutral to clean it up remember to take your time if you rush you're gonna mess up take your time Okay, now I'm going to go in with my faux MAC brush. I don't even remember what number this is because it uh, faded off. And I'm going to be using my Jessie Girl Pigment in Troublemaker. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. So I'm just going to apply this into my, I want to say, almost like to the halfway point, like right here. Just, just watch me. <laughs> Take your time. stunning or is that stunning right so beautiful and 
and this right here is why I always do my eyes first. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this pigment that I got years ago. I had done this Facebook makeup competition and I won. And this girl who she had, I believe it was called Queen of Color Cosmetics, she sent me these really beautiful pigments and I still have them. So I came across this color. This one is called Blue Monster. So pretty. It's like this navy blue with like purplish undertones. So beautiful. I'm just going to apply that color into the outer half to really smoke it out. I'm just using that same faux MAC brush that I was using to apply that uh, aqua color. Remember what I said, take your time. Okay, now I'm gonna take whatever's left on the brush and I'm just going to pat it over that aqua color to just blend the two blues in. take that um, pointed rose gold mermaid brush and I'm going to take that color smart again and I'm just going to deepen the V so that this side can match with it EB 13 and just blend it out the biggest advice that I can give you guys is just to remember that with a smoky look, especially when you're working with colors like this, you gotta just blend, 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 blend. And when you think you're done blending, blend some more. And I'm just going back with that navy blue and just blending the two colors together. Really quickly before I finish my eyes, I'm just going to go in with my Pixi Rose Oil Nourishing Face Oil. I'm going to take a few drops. Really quickly, just to add a little bit of additional warmth to the look, I'm gonna go in with my Fit Me Coconut 355 Press Powder. This is my favorite, I always use it to bronze my face. And my Morphe M518 brush. I'm just going to use that to just add just a little bit more warmth to this side. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and just give them a nice coat of mascara. I'm going to be using my Ruby Kisses Very Sexy Mascara. I really like this mascara. I've been using it for a while now. Good stuff. Okay, now I'm going to apply my lashes. I'm going to be applying the Eyelore Nicole Guerrero 143 Lashes. I'm absolutely obsessed with these lashes. They're bombs.com. If you guys haven't tried them, pick them up. I'm going to be using my Kiss INV Eyelash Glue in clear and my tweezers to apply these lashes. And I'm just going to go in with a coat of that mascara to just blend in those lashes with my natural lashes. Now normally I would jump into the face and then I would finish my eyes underneath, but because of the amount of fallout that I get with this um, pigment, I'm going to do my eyes first and then we're just going to take our time around under our eyes to make it look blended in very well. Because I don't want to get a lot of fallout on my foundation once I put it on. I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Primer Stick and I'm just going to put that underneath the lash line. So that the color could just stick when I put it out and put it on instead of just getting the fallout everywhere. going to go in with that Jenny Styles Rose Gold Angled Mermaid Brush and I'm going to go in with the color Smart and I'm going to uh, bring the black into the outer and halfway in. I don't want it all the way in the inner corner. Just from the outside, halfway in. Dip this brush into that navy blue, Queen of Color Cosmetics Blue. And 
then I'm gonna bring the Jessie's Girl Troublemaker into the inner corner and just blend it out completely. Okay, so I just had to add some eyeliner off camera because my eyes water a lot when I put it on the waterline. I just went in with my Ruby Kisses black eyeliner. So now we're going to move on to the face. I'm going to prime my skin using my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I believe I got this in a boxy charm, if not an Ipsy bag. I don't remember which one I got it from, but I think it was a boxy charm. And I'm just going to apply a small amount on my face, really focusing it around my nose and my cheek area because that's where I have the biggest pores. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe M517 brush and my Pixi Brightening Peach Corrector. I'm just going to put that on my dark circles. I look crazy, but I'm just going to take my L'Oreal Beauty Sponge and just blend everything out. Now I'm just going to go in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in 02 Natural. And I'm just going to dot it all over my face. Now I'm going to take my Jenny Styles Rainbow Fish Brush and I'm just going to apply it all over my face basically. Just blend it into my skin. And I'm just going to blend everything in and push it into my skin with my L'Oreal Beauty Sponge. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with two different concealers. I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Neutral and my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand Sable. Because I'm doing such a smoky look, I definitely want pretty bright under eyes. I don't want them white, but I do want them bright. And of course, blending it out with my L'Oreal Beauty Sponge. Okay, now I'm just going to set everything using my Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder in 30 Warm Nude and my really pretty Rose Gold Mermaid Face Brush. So I'm just going to lightly apply it to my skin just to set the foundation. Now I'm going to go in with my Luxie 512 Small Contouring Brush and my Maybelline Pressed Powder in Coconut 355 and I'm just going to bring some color to my skin. It's certainly no surprise that I'm going to highlight my face using Ofra Rodeo Drive, but I'm actually going to be adding a white shadow on top, which I normally don't do, but um, Rihanna was wearing this blue color, but then she had like this really pretty like whitish type of thing in the highlight, so I'm going to just add it over the Ofra Rodeo Drive. 
because you know I can't live without it. It's my favorite. And I'm going to be using my Morphe R40 brush to apply my highlight. Cupid's bow is certainly optional. I just really love how it looks. Same way as you guys can see my face. It looks pretty decent, you know, but when I put the little... I just feel like it does more to my face. I love that little button nose thing, especially since I have such a big nose. I just really like the little ball on my nose to be highlighted. I'm going to take that pointed mermaid brush and I'm just going to apply it to the inner corner. I'm going to go in with that Real Her palette and the color Fine. And I'm just going to apply that right over the Rodeo Drive in the inner corners. And I'm going to take my Ruby Kisses tapered eyeshadow brush to just blend everything out. Now I'm just going to spray my face with my Gerard Cosmetics Soleil All Day Setting Spray. Love this stuff. This is the coconut one. It smells so good. Okay, now to finish the look, I'm going to go in with my NYC lip liner in Red Hot and I'm just going to line And in case you guys didn't notice the theme of the video, but take your time. And I'm going to fill it in with my Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Katsu Matte Lipstick in Missy and Fierce. And I'm going to top this color off with uh, Max Viva Glam Rihanna. Alright y'all, so this is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.